You guys can watch me have a panic attack here in real time. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Blue Land. I'm telling you guys a little about them in just a minute here, but today we're going to be getting into a, another bridal subscription box. I'm very sorry if you guys can hear like a lot of blustery sounds in the background. The wind outside right now is insane. It sounds like a, like a, like a hurricane coming down from the north. That was my old Bilbo impression. It wasn't very good and I don't stand by it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it is very, very windy outside. I guess there is a storm a brewing somewhere. Today we're getting into what is supposed to be like the number one bridal box according to their website. Um, so <laughs> you know take it with a grain of salt but I have heard from a lot of people that this is like the best bridal box. It has really good reviews. A lot of people say it's really good so I am quite excited about this one. So today we're gonna be doing the Miss to Mrs. box. It is quite hefty. I do actually have some like stuff about it. I wrote some notes. This would have been easier to read if I had cut and pasted letters out of magazines, like the serial killers do. Okay, so this is a $37 box, but you also have to pay $7.95 shipping, so it is a little bit on the pricey side. How much is that together? I don't really know. It gave me a graph. Okay, so it is $44.99 total for this box. This is like a $45 box. The value for this box is $100 plus, so honestly not the most amazing value ever for your money, um, at least when it comes to like subscription boxes. So we're supposed to get six to seven full-size exclusive products that are for like pampering and also helping you plan which is something I really need. It's getting a little bit down to crunch time. I know my wedding isn't until November but like <laughs> I did also see that they had an ultimate bride box which is $199 with free shipping. So I was wondering if that was something that you guys would be interested in seeing. <laughs> but the box itself is pretty so we have a gilded Miss to Mrs. printing on the front there and it's a nice like bright pink box. It is very strange to me that like in less than a year I'm gonna be a miss. Sis. Oh, spoiler alert, uh, there's like a piece of paper in here that literally shows like outline drawn pictures of everything inside of the box. So don't take a look at that if you want to be surprised. Right on top here, we have a little stack of papers. It says, let's plan this. And yes, please, let's do. Somebody's gotta. All wedding planning can be overwhelming. You don't say, you don't say. To help you navigate this process, we have created the Miss to Mrs. Wedding Planning Guide filled with top tips, worksheets, checklists, and more to support you on this journey. Oh, so that's really nice. The first wedding box that we did came with absolutely no like help for planning preparation anything like that um it was just kind of like some little doodads it said bride on them so I like that this one like has a little bit of like a guide to help you through it also that is an adorable paper clip I really like that how to begin wedding planning number five find ways to stay calm remain calm <laughs> which is something I'm not very good at doing all right this is pretty cute there's a lot of like little tips and tricks in here for planning staying on budget that kind of thing I do really like these little sheets they have like checklists in here for your wedding vision okay this is pretty cool Ooh, okay just glancing into the box I'm already seeing some stuff that I am liking so I really want to go ahead and get into this but first before I do I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor Blue Land I have been using Blue Land for a while now and it has helped me reduce my waste while saving money by replacing many of the traditional single-use plastic cleansers that I was using. Blue Hens products are effective, convenient, safe for use, affordable, and sourced from clean ingredients. They use no single-use plastic in any of their components, including the bottles, the wrappers, the packaging. Unlike traditional liquid cleaners with Blue Land, all you need to clean your house and your hands is this nickel-sized tablet. Plastic bottles are wasteful, and when you're throwing them away, it's like throwing away money. I typically pay between like five and six dollars for traditional cleansers, but each Blue Land tablet is only two dollars, which is like less than the price of a small black coffee. The tablets are also super easy to use. All you have to do is fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water, drop in one of the tablets and put the nozzle on after the tablet is fully dissolved and then use. It's just as easy as that. I personally got the hand soap duo which includes two reusable nine ounce glass forever bottles and six foaming hand soap tablets and three cents, iris agave, perine lemon and lavender eucalyptus. Instead of buying individual cleaning products, if you buy a kit you are already saving 20% but I have a code for you guys to save an extra 20%. All you have to do is click my link down below in the description to get 20% off your first kit. Thank you so very much to Lulay for sponsoring this video. The first item in here is a cup and I really like cups. More specifically it is a 17 ounce double walled tumbler and on it there is a little ring and it says I said yes and then it also comes with a little cap. 
or I guess a lid. It's very shiny. It looks like a penny, like a large, like novelty penny. Um, there is a little slidey guy there. I'm not really sure what the slidey guy is for. Oh, it's to open it. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. So there is the drinking hole right there and the little slidey guy closes and opens the drinking hole. It is a bit difficult to move, to be honest. And this is what it looks like with it all put together. I will say like the cap and stuff doesn't feel like maybe the highest or best quality. And for a box that is $45, I would kind of expect something just a little bit maybe higher quality for the lid. The rest of the tumbler itself feels fine. And uh, I do like the kind of copperish gold or maybe just straight copper. I did say it looked like a penny. Hand wash only. Oh no. Yeah, okay. If you know me, like not dishwasher safe things typically like don't enter my home or if they do, they get put in the dishwasher anyway and we just see what happens. All right next up here we have a little box with an engagement ring on the front that looks very similar to mine. I'm sure mine's a little bit on the dirty side right now but that looks incredibly similar to my ring. Oh my gosh how convenient. <laughs> I promise you guys I did not read what this was before I said that my ring was dirty. I thought this was gonna be like a piece of jewelry or a ring holder or something like that. This is actually all that sparkles jewelry wipes. It has 10 towelettes to clean your jewelry so since I said that mine was looking kind of a little bit dirty we can go ahead and try these out and see how they work. They come individually wrapped like this in just little packages. All right, so here is a close-up of my ring before I clean it with the little wipe. Alrighty, and let's just do a little bit of a wipe in here and see if we can clean the stone and the ring itself. And here it is after it has been cleaned. I do think that helped a little bit, made it a little bit more shiny and reflective. Like a quick little shine up, I think it did a pretty good job. Okay, so next up here is a little set of pins that I have seen every single time I've gone into a TJ Maxx or Home Goods, which is so many times. <laughs> slightly nervous. We've had several tornadoes recently in my area, so I'm a little, I'm like, oh. Anywho, I have frequented Home Goods so many times that the manager recognizes my face. He thought that I was a decorator. Like this was my job to go to Home Goods and buy things for other people to decorate their house with when it's just me in my one house. But anyway, every time I'm in there, I see this pretty much exact pin set. I mean, they're cute. They're not exactly my style. They're a little bit on like the blingy side. But again, we have that like copper and at the end there is like a big honking like fake diamond and it is just two pins. They are definitely kind of cute. They feel like better quality than I was initially expecting. Like I'm guessing this is just a piece of plastic but there is like a nice weightiness to it actually. Oh that's glass. Wow, okay, I actually wasn't expecting that, but these seem to be like two giant hunks of glass. I guess that's why they are so shiny. There are also a couple places on here that look like they are chipped a little bit. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but they do have some little chips around the edges, which could actually be a little bit dangerous, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you wanna chuck this into your purse or something for fear of it like breaking and having shards of like glass in your purse. Did you guys imagine having like a rock that big on your hand? I guess some people do, some like really rich fancy people do. Like that seems dangerous, to be honest. I'd be afraid to go outside and I wouldn't want someone to chop my finger off. So the pins are cute. Again, maybe not my personal style and uh, unfortunately the next item that we're moving on to might not be exactly something that I would pick up for myself but I feel like I might be able to get some use out of it and I'm hoping it might be large enough to be like a sleeping shirt. I probably should have sized up a couple more sizes uh, but the next thing we have in here is a t-shirt and it shows you right there what it looks like. It has like a peace sign fingers and it says hashtag engaged. Oh peace sign with a ring on it. This is a light and ultra soft t-shirt made with 50% cotton and 50% viscose, whatever that is, that will make your wedding planning journey even more fun, Instagram, and TikTok friendly. If I'm not concerned about anything regarding my wedding is how TikTok friendly it is, I gotta say. And that is the last thing on my worry list. Oh, okay, so this shirt actually feels pretty nice. It is soft and lightweight, it almost feels like kind of cooling. It has like a little scoop neck to it, and then the ring itself is kind of like an icy blue color. It might not be something that I would wear as just like a regular everyday outfit, but maybe as something like cozy to wear to my bachelorette party to be like comfy for PJs, wear little shorts with it or something. But for me personally, probably something I wouldn't like throw on with jeans or leggings and just like go shopping in. But that is just my personal style, of course. I'm sure a lot of people really like this. I have had an energy drink and a protein bar today. It makes me feel kind of like a gym bro, but like minus the gym part. Oh, fun, that's very surprising. I thought this was gonna be the last item inside this box, but there's another sneaky little item hiding underneath it. But this I am pretty excited about. I do love like journals and planners and things like that. Do I use them? 
no ma'am no I don't I do use planners and journals and that kind of thing but probably not for like the purpose that it's been intended I'll get it with great intention great intention of like planning out my days being so organized and on top of things and then I end up just using like the notes pages in the back to jot things down and then forget that I have jotted things down in those notes um but I do really like planners this one is really cute it says a future missus on it and I like the rose gold with the pale pink I also do currently have two wedding planning books two of them and I have not really used either of them one night my very sweet fiance sat down and like tried to fill out some stuff in one of the books for me which was really nice but actually like really using it like you're supposed to I have not yet so this will be interesting to see what this one is like oh I might be able to get some use out of this because it's mainly just like notes pages. Okay, <laughs> so that's good. So it has a couple of sections over here like top priorities, appointments, calls, emails, that kind of thing. So this is something I feel like I could definitely get some use out of. It's not so structured that I feel like kind of overwhelmed by it and there's no like dates or anything on it so I could use this for a long time if I wanted to. So yeah, I do like this. I do think this is pretty cute. It feels like pretty good quality so I think this is a very nice item. And then finally, the very last thing in here, it appears that this is some type of countdown and I'm trying right now in my brain to figure out if like oh that is a good thing to like let me visually see how many few days are left before we get married so I kind of get on the ball and you know start planning or if this is just gonna send me into like a spiral every time I see it so either it's gonna be very helpful in like keeping me on track and like keeping me cognizant of like how many days we have left to the wedding or it's gonna freak me out I hope this is like magnetic or something Okay, maybe not. Does it stand somehow? Oh, I see. Okay, so it does stand. On here it says, you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry the person you cannot live without. And that is a very cute quote. It also says, you got this. I sure hope I do. Little countdown. And then at the very bottom, it says, days until you and me become we, which is also very cute. and reminds me of how the Grinch stole Christmas for some reason. I think it's just because like in the old animated movie, the very end of it where it's like, just as long as we have we. And for some reason that is triggering that memory. I don't know why. Alright, just for some fun and out of curiosity, let's go ahead and see how many days there are left until I get married. You guys can watch me have a panic attack here in real time. How many days until November 12th, 2022? Okay, okay, that sounds like a good amount of days. I feel like that I could do some things in that amount of days, so I'll go ahead and show you guys here how many days exactly are left. So there are 269 days left until my wedding day, which that's like, oh, that seems like a lot of days. That seems like so many days. If somebody told me I had to wait 269 days for something like a package from Amazon to arrive I'd be like this is ridiculous that is an immense amount of time how is somebody supposed to wait that long for anything but in this particular scenario I wish it was like at that at least would be pretty good that'd be pretty good but as long as we are both there together on the day and we say our I do's then, then everything will be perfectly fine but that was everything inside of the box and overall I thought this was a pretty good box it was pretty fun there are definitely some things I'm gonna get some use out of I like that it came with like some planning materials that's very helpful $45 does seem like a little bit on the expensive side but you know it is for your wedding so it is a very special day so I can kind of see that this could also make for a pretty like unique wedding gift if you wanted to gift it to somebody who was getting married. Overall, I thought it was a pretty cute box and I did like it better than the first bridal box that we've tried out, but I would love to hear your whole thoughts and opinions. Let me know those down below in the comments. Let me know if you guys would like to see any more bridal boxes or if you'd like to see more bridal content. I definitely would love to take you guys along with like some of the planning, dress trying on, that kind of thing. But for now, that is all I have for you guys. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time.